All right, time for a generator update. This is our emergency generator. Keeping this box on the deck. I bought this uh, rain cover for her because you never know, the power might go out when it's raining. I think I better be able to run it when it's raining. Plus it also acts as a cover for it while it's in storage, so that's good. This comes off, and I've got my two Blue Rhino uh, propane canisters. So when, when it gets empty, I'll turn that one back in, get it full, and then I'll have, always have at least one full one. This is more of the uh, rain cover. Here's all the parts, extra spare parts. Here's the connector for the the uh, propane caster. And I bought this uh, I bought this hour meter to keep track of the hours run. I have a spreadsheet that keeps track of it, but I figured it'd be nice to have it on the machine. So I didn't install it right away, so I'm gonna wait until I do my five hours where I change the oil and then I'll put it on. So I'll have a video about that later. So just come down here this these are also part of the rain cover. The idea is it can be sitting outside in the rain with a cover on it and still operate safely. So we'll just wheel it out on the deck and then I'll show you how I'm starting it up. All right, so we're gonna hook up the gas. So since we're only using for emergencies, I'm only running it every uh, couple weeks, like the instructions said, to keep the engine lubricated. Gas over here. That's all the, I'm using the uh, canister valve. And it's ready to start. Now I'm. Uh, they tell you to um, put some load on it, uh, so it can handle 30 watts. And this, uh, I mean, uh, 30 amps rather. So this uh, space heater takes about 15 amps. So I've got half load. So that'll help uh, break the engine in better. So I'm gonna, I'll be hooking up the space heater. It's kind of a waste to heat up the outdoors, but I don't really have another use for it right now. So I don't have an RV. This is just for emergencies. All right, so the gas is on. All right. <clears throat> One, two, three. All right, so the gas is on. We need to turn on the uh, battery. Don't forget to turn that off when you're done. Otherwise, the battery goes dead, which happened to me. And I had to use the pull starter, which does work, but it's much easier to use the electric start. So we'll leave uh, economy off to start it. Usually it takes two pushes to start it for some reason, but let's try it. Mm -hmm. All right, so it started. I, I, I guess I didn't use the choke. I didn't have to use the choke, so. I'm gonna turn on the space heater. You see it's putting more load on the system, so the space heater's on high. We'll let it run for 20 minutes. All right, well, 20 minutes are up. So we're gonna turn off the space heater. See the load goes way down. Now to turn it off, you actually have to turn off the gas. There's no way to turn it off with the generator itself. So now it's off. So as I was saying, I don't know if you can hear me, there's no way to turn it off here. You have to just turn the gas supply off. Presumably when it's running on gasoline, I hope there's some way to turn it off, but it doesn't seem to work. Uh, you make sure you turn the battery off or your battery will go dead. This is off, so we can disconnect it over here. Disconnect it over here, let the gas out. And we'll just put it away. So good for another couple weeks. Then we'll run it again, and in about six weeks or so, we'll be up to 
six weeks will be up to five hours, and it'll be time to change the oil. So I'll have a video about that. See you then. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. I'll have some more around the house videos coming up.